Okay, so here's my Colmap folder in Downloads. Here's my Images folder on the desktop. 48 images there of a gargoyle, a little stone gargoyle on a wooden bench. And you can see they're just normal photos there. Let's run Colmap using colmap.bat. Go to Reconstruction Automatic Reconstruction. We're going to create a new folder for the workspace, and this is where it's going to store temporary files and put the finished model. And we're going to select that here. An image folder, we're going to select obviously the folder with the images in it. We we'll ignore vocab tree for now, leave as individual images. Uh, there's other options there. I'm just going to set this to low so that the video doesn't last forever. We'll make a sparse model, a dense model, and then we'll use the Poisson reconstruction to make the mesh. I prefer that to the Delaunay. Hit run and the software will go for it. It'll start processing all the images. It will run through all the different steps, feature matching, uh, feature extraction, reconstructing camera positions, densifying the point cloud, and then meshing the point cloud. And I'm just going to let that run, but I'll speed up the video so that you can see everything that's happening. Because it does take a little while. Okay, so that's just finishing up now, and it's writing the model out, and it's going to write that model out into the workspace folder that we created at the start. Just give it another minute or two while that writes out. Reasonably big files. So that's stored in the workspace folder. I'm going to open up MeshLab, open that workspace folder, under dense, under zero, you'll see meshed poisson.ply. If you open that, there's our 3D reconstruction. And even on low quality, you'll see that's a pretty good reconstruction there from 48 images. And that took six minutes.